I want to see how far I can get without turning on the power. So, I'm not going to worry about Pack-a-Punch, not going to worry about the teleporters. I'm going to hit the box, get some decent weapons. Um, I have some, like, basic gobble gums on, or classic gobble gums. Um, I'm not going to really use any mega gobble gums to make this easier, uh, just so that way I can't Pack-a-Punch. But the main thing I'm doing is just not flipping the power switch, and I'm not using mega gobble gums. I'm going to see if I can make it to a decent round. Obviously, this is the giant, so it's a pretty easy map. But I haven't played it in a long time. I haven't played Black Ops 3 in a while, other than my custom zombies maps. So this should be pretty interesting, just to see how far I can make it. These first few rounds, I'm just going to kind of breeze through. Uh, I'm going to head this way towards the box. And I'll pick up one of these. So it's not like I'm avoiding Gobblegum altogether. I'm still trying to use some of them. This is not going to help me. <laughs> I don't have any explosives, really. Maybe I could get some sort of explosive weapon and then use this later. But for now, this isn't going to give me much help. I'm probably going to go for the CUDA in, in here. In Black Ops 3, it was like one of the first games where you can actually customize the wall weapons um, and the box weapons and stuff. In my original like playthrough of Black Ops 3, I actually had like custom camos for all of my wall weapons. And I had all of them in like, zombies perk things. So I had like quick revive on this gun. I think I did a total of maybe four or five different uh, perks for like custom paint jobs. I'm I'm gonna grab another one of these because this one's not gonna give me much help. Yeah, I figured I'd get like an in-plane side or something. Let's head this way. Let's get the Cuda off the wall. I mean, it'll be fun to come through here and like grind through all of these weapons again. I'm not a big fan of the customizing your weapons like out of the game. But I do at least want to have um, a few attachments. But I, I definitely like the uh, Pack-a-Punch camo. One of the best, like, upgrade systems is probably, like, I don't know. I feel like, in general, the, the upgrade system for COD Zombies, like, to where you go through and, like, customize every single weapon that you could possibly get, I never really liked it. It felt, like, cumbersome. Like, it took too much work for, like, not even knowing what guns you're going to end up with in your playthrough. I mean, you could actively, like, try for certain weapons. Like, wall weapons makes perfect sense. But I feel like just the weapons out of the box, like, also being included. It just felt weird for me to go through and upgrade all of the weapons. Because you could spend, a, like, you could waste a lot of time doing that. I've been playing a lot of custom zombies maps. And you kind of forget about these classic maps from Black Ops 3. And the gobble gum system, which is a lot of fun, too. It's kind of like you can choose your own difficulty based on... Uh, which gobble guns you seek out. Collecting liquid divinium was always cool too. I am more of a fan of the Black Ops 4 like loadout. Not like entirely. Like I do enjoy the classic zombies formula where you pick up your your perks um, as you play. So like your loadout is driven by your playthrough. But I do think that picking a loadout before you jump in is sometimes fun. I think there is some sort of middle ground that could be reached. Like if you could, maybe before the game, you choose which perks are like upgraded. And then when you jump in, you actually have, you know, whatever perks you want to buy. But if you buy certain perks, they will be upgraded. Kind of like a mixture between Black Ops 4 and Cold War. Okay, so in plain sight, I, I want something that's going to help me, like that I can get use out of. Um, like this, yeah. So this is something I can get use out of. For three rounds. There's a lot of weapons in this game that I wasn't the biggest fan of. I like having like the classic guns in the box, like the PPSH and stuff. I need to play like Grad Krovi for the PPSH though. So yeah, I'll probably stay here as long as I can. This is probably the best spot in, in all of Darice anyway. I'm gonna get rid of this VMP though. Okay, this might help me for the dogs, but this is probably the only circumstance that'll help me with. Now, I don't remember if Quick Revive is available without turning on the power. Okay, I'm gonna get myself killed trying to use that. Okay, cool. Does this refill my ammo? Nope. Oh, cool. I can get Quick Revive. Nice. I remember this, like, paw print back in the day. Um, if you, like, looked at it and held F or something, it would make a noise uh, in World of War, and a lot of people would say that would, like, upgrade your chug. 
There was another one up there. The people said upgraded your jug as well. I always like the little Easter egg on this map where you can get the extra perk over there from underneath the snow. That was always really cool. Because when they do like remakes like this, you never really expect them to add new Easter eggs. But just adding like another perk machine was always really cool to me. Also the mystery of not knowing what other perk you can get on this map. Okay, I need to stop messing around. Play a little bit more cautious. I do need to get a different gun. This Argus isn't going to help me if I swap to it really quickly. Oh, that almost killed me. Okay, this is probably going to kill me as well. There's so many big LMGs in this, in this box right now. There's some liquid divinium. And another Argus. Okay, well, at least I can get quicker rev. That is actually nice. That means I'm going to be able to make it a little bit further. Now, if there was a classic gobble gum that made me reload faster, that would be helpful. Yeah, this these LMGs are going to get me killed. Yeah, I'll just pick this up. Oh. Got a cool camo on it. I don't remember putting that camo. I must have. I don't typically camp right here, but this is okay for these early rounds. I'm going to get to a point where I can't camp anymore. Like, as soon as Pack-A-Punch becomes necessary, that's about how long I can camp here. Swordfly. This isn't going to really help me. This game does have some pretty solid wall weapons, though. I'm not even sure what I'd even want out of the box. I could maybe try to get classic ray gun. Doing pretty good so far. Okay, let's let's hit the box a couple more times. There's no other thing to use my points on. Like I don't even need to open up the rest of the map. Okay. I don't know if I want this. It's got ooh. I didn't even notice that there was a wonder walk. I'm gonna hit this again because I am gonna want my in plane sight now. Stock option. That's useful. Perhaps we'll one day. I will find one that tastes like a cuttlefish. I miss uh, playing these old zombies games like with other players. It was always so cool to. Uh, I don't know, just camp, camp, catwalk with your friends. Come on, give me a wonder loft, that'd be nice. Oh. Don't want that. I'm gonna go pick up some ammo for this. Since I always play custom maps on PC, I always forget about, like, the on-disc maps for Black Ops 3. I'm feeling the nostalgia of coming back to these, which is nice. There's a lot of these maps that I do want to play again. Shadows of Evil, definitely. I also wouldn't mind giving... I never really gave Garad Krovi, like, a good try. So I'd like to go back and do Garad Krovi. Stock option is about to run out. Now we're back to reloading. Okay, this round's probably over too. Yeah, it's been pretty easy going for the first few rounds. So I do have like a free one. Is this my? Oh, another stock option. So I I do know that this is like 
you have all five of your gobble gums randomized, kind of like Tetris pieces, right? You get all five in a bag and then you draw them out one at a time. And then once it's empty, that's when you kind of get another set. So it looks like I got stock option at the end of my last set and at the beginning of the next set. So I can't get stock, stock option for the next four gobble gums. I always like that system. It makes the most sense. Okay, now... I just want to play it kind of safe. Because my guns aren't doing the most damage anymore. I just came off of playing Black Ops 2, though, like Origins. And compared to, compared to that, this is so much nicer. Like, just the movement and stuff feels faster. And obviously with Origins, you're always stuck in the mud. Oh, I need to hug this. This, I feel so fast. I am going to save a zombie and then go hit the box. Awesome. I'll just take both. Get rid of that. Alright, let's go hit the box. I'd like a wonder off, but I'd like a like a panic weapon that I can just kind of whip out and clear the horde. I forget. I have to go. Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot about that part. Okay, well, I guess this is what I get. So I completely forgot that after. So on this map. When you drop down here, you're supposed to flip on the power, which opens up this bridge, and it opens both of these gates. And so, that means I can't go back, and I can't go and find the box. So I'm actually stuck with these weapons. Which is pretty interesting. I didn't even think about that aspect of the challenge. Definitely makes it more interesting. Um, with that in mind, I feel like I could give this a couple tries, honestly, and see how it turns out but i'm gonna do this one run today i mean this video is mostly just so i can i can see the process of video editing and stuff and see how i feel about recording pre-recording a video editing it and then and then uploading it instead of uploading a live stream because live streams are easy right you just play and then you just and then you just leave it on the channel. Okay, I have like half a second of stock option. Yep, okay. Oh, this is... Ah, okay. My stock, sh stock option ran out way too early there. Okay, I don't want to get myself stuck back here. But I do want to utilize this. Because this is kind of the only way I'm going to be able to hit the box. Right? At least from now on. Um, that might, that might actually make a huge difference later on. When it gets to a point to where this damage isn't doing enough. Like the regular weapon damage isn't doing enough to kill. That locust is going to be huge. Alright. And I think another thing with this challenge is it's going to be important to like actually get levels on my wall weapons and upgrade them. So that way I can kind of get almost like a pseudo pack-a-punch going. I'd also like to try some first room challenges on this game and get my like first room weapons as strong as I can at least is the best kind of attachments that I can get on them okay I'm gonna get down from there these dogs are actually pretty healthy
I'm probably going to have to start training after this round. It's I'm getting pretty light on damage. See if this is a one shot. Okay, that is good. That's, that's really nice. I'm just in a slightly different spot because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to get trapped up here. So right here I can just still kill them. And then I can drop off when I need. Oh. Ah. Uh. I forgot to rebuy quick revive. Okay, well, 16 rounds is my first try of this challenge. I'll definitely give it another try eventually with that in mind of the fact that once you drop down for that mystery box, you cannot go to the rest of the map and find the mystery box. So you got to get a good gun on the first pull. Otherwise, you're relying on fire sale. All right, well, see you.